Hi there, in this video I will be showing you how I make PCBs using some free CAD software, some Python code and my homemade CNC machine. Stripboard is based around holes and tracks spaced out at 0.1 of an inch or 2.54 millimeters. Go to Options, Current Drawing Preferences, Grid, X Spacing and set it to 2.54 millimeters. Also, Y Spacing. Draw some holes with a radius of 0.4 mm. These will be drilled out later. Create a layer called Components and change the colour to red. Draw a component, in this case a diode. Copy and paste. This PCB needs eight to make two bridge rectifiers. Create another layer called cut and set the color to green and the width to 0.8 millimeters, which is the diameter of the cutter. Reset the X and Y spacing to 1.27 millimeters half the size of the first grid. Draw around the tracks. These will be machined out later. Note, this is the view from the copper side of the board. This layer is all of the components. This layer is all of the holes to be drilled. the outside of the PCB and all of the tracks to be cut into the PCB. A quick rotate and move to get it into the correct orientation and position. I'm going to use some Python code that I've written to convert the DXF CAD file into a G-code program for my CNC machine to run. If you would like to have a look at the Python code at your own risk and for entertainment value only, visit my website and copy the text from the drop down box. Open your favourite editor, I like to use Genie. Paste the text here and at this point it is still only text. Save the text with a .py extension and it will now change to Python code with formatting. Set some variables, file paths and feeds and speeds, cut depths etc. Run the Python program. Read the information about the conversion. Scroll up for the G code. And further up for the data extracted from the DXF file. You can find a text file and inspect the final G code ready for use on the CNC machine. This is a small spindle that I made from a 540 RC buggy motor and an ER11 collet chuck, which I have made two previous videos about. A 12 volt car battery charger to power the motor. 0.8 millimeter PCB slot drill with an eighth of an inch shaft in a pack of 10. And finally, a pack of 100 times 70 millimeter single sided copper PCB blanks. My machine first runs around the outside to check the correct location. It cuts the tracks first running at 200 millimeters a minute. The video is speeded up 10 times here. And then drills all of the holes.
It finished in a little over nine minutes. The completed PCB. It worked so well I rotated it and ran the program again. Some of the holes here and here needed to be drilled out bigger with a 1.2 millimeter diameter drill. To hold the drill in the chuck, it needed some wire insulation around it. A three millimeter drill. The board only requires a few components, mainly diodes, for the two bridge rectifiers. Adding some components and soldering them. first rule of soldering club is, we do not talk about soldering club. The finished board. The second rule of soldering club is, does this thing work? Sure it does. Future video, maybe. This method of PCB manufacture can be used for more complex board designs. This is a computer with a VGA video output and a PS2 keyboard running MM Basic on a Pico. If you made it this far, well done. Please like and subscribe or have a look at my website for this and other projects and I will catch you in my next video. That'll require a bit of editing. Can I say something now? I need to fart <laughs> desperately. Do it. <laughs> no. Do it. No. Do it. Go on. No. Shush. <laughs> <laughs>